Hey guys, it's Annie and today's video has been highly requested for a while. You've been asking for more videos on visualization. And then I ask you guys like, have you watched my other visualization videos? And you're like, yeah, but we want more. So I'm giving the people what they want. So you're welcome. Thumbs up for that. For any of you who might be new here thinking like, who is this girl? Why should I listen to her? What, what does she know? I will say this, my people have heard this a billion times, but for the record, just a few years ago, I was depressed, I rapidly gained 30 pounds, I was broke, my main source of income was babysitting for $10 an hour, I was in toxic friendships, toxic relationships, and just all around not in the greatest place. And then compared to now, my life has completely changed, I am independent, very financially stable, I'm a life coach, and just overall really happy with everything in my life and it all started when I got into personal development and started reading books and I got into the law of attraction and manifestation and using the tools that I still use today that have really turned my life around. Speaking of personal development, I've been on like a giveaway kick and have been giving away personal development books. I'm gonna do another giveaway in this video, but stay tuned to the end, we'll get into that. Anyway, enough of this intro, let's talk about visualization. So in case you don't know what visualization means, it's exactly the way it sounds. It's vividly visualizing what you want for your life. Closing your eyes, picturing it clearly. What does it look like? What does it feel like? And that's something that I used to do every single day. Now I don't do it every day, but I do it often, multiple times a week. I know the people who struggle with visualization Often, one thing that I've noticed is they don't have a clear idea of what they even want. So my first tip is get clear on what you want. What do you want your next level self to look like? Like you in a year, if this year went so well, like the best year ever, what could that look like at the end of the year? And don't hold yourself back. It can be further out of your comfort zone than you realize. You're capable of more than just pushing your comfort zone a little bit. So one thing I like to do to get clarity on what I want my next level self to look like is I make a vision board. I have so many vision board videos. If you haven't made a vision board yet or watched, I recommend going and checking that out and making one for yourself because it will really help with gaining clarity. And to have that visual representation sitting in your house where you can see it every day makes the biggest difference. It helps train your mind to stay focused on what you want. Now, once you have clarity on what you want, it's gonna make it much more easy to visualize. However, I have received some comments saying like, I don't know how to visualize. I close my eyes and I just see black. You know how to visualize. I promise you, I know that you have the ability of, you know, thinking back on old memories. You can think back and have visuals. Like, what did that look like? What my grandma's house looked like? What my childhood room looked like? What I did last week? I can picture that in my head. It's doing the same thing except for the future like building what you want your future to look like, being creative. It's not like this that's so raven moment where you just like bam and it's all there, you create it. So again, I think with clarity of what you want, that'll make visualizations much easier. Now this right here is a big piece. I'm going to share with you my absolute favorite guided visualization meditation. It's about 25 minutes long and it is by far the best guided visualization meditation I have ever used. So I will link it down below. It guides you through what your dream house looks like, what your dream relationship looks like, your dream job. Every little aspect of your life that you want to improve upon, that takes you through all of it. So check it out down below. But I did wanna ask and be honest, and let me know in the comments, would you guys be interested if I made a guided visualization track and posted it on this channel and you can go back to it and use it and have it guide you through your visualizations? Please let me know. I'm totally open to that. It's an idea that's been going on in my head. So uh, yeah, comments, let me know. If you don't wanna follow along to a guided visualization, you can also do visualizations on your own, either in silence or you can put some light nice instrumentals in the background on. Just close your eyes for like five to 10 minutes and picture what you want that next level life to look like. What does your house look like? What does the kitchen look like? What do you do in the mornings? That's, that's one thing that I really like to do when I visualize if I'm doing it on my own. I like to visualize myself, my next level self, living my next level life. What waking up 
in that life would look like, what my bedroom looks like, going to the kitchen and getting a glass of water, doing my morning routine from that environment that I'm living in, and just all the steps that I would do in that life. Like when I picture that, I feel excited for it and that's what is going to push me towards it way quicker because we attract what we feel. So it's not just like closing your eyes and picturing it, like pictures in your mind, but picturing it and again, feeling the emotion as if you were in that moment. Going back to vision boards, a great thing about having a vision board is, you know, with all the different things you put on your vision board, you can focus on different aspects of it each day. For example, on my vision board, it has vacations. Like one day I could just focus on that. If that's what I'm feeling really drawn towards, I can focus on my dream vacation and I can envision what that vacation would look like. Or I also put a photo of my dream house in my dream location, like it's a direct photo in the neighborhood I want to live in. And I know I always go back to visualizing living situations, but that's because it's the easiest for me to do, like I feel most drawn to that. So I just visualize what things would look like in that house. And one thing that makes it really easy to visualize that house is because I have gone online, I've looked at those models of houses, I've seen pictures, I have a vivid image. So if you need help with that sort of thing, if you kinda know what you want but you don't know how to like plan out the vision in your head, like what does that even look like, just like go online and look at pictures of the things that you're interested in and kind of like piece it together in your head. Does that make sense? I hope it does. But because I've looked up so many photos of those houses online and even watched like video tours, it makes it so much easier for me to picture what that would look like and picture myself living in it and going through that and everything. Another question I get is how often should you be visualizing? And I used to do it almost every single day. And like I said, I still do it multiple days out of the week. But before you go gung-ho on visualizations, which you totally can, I have some advice for that. I would suggest to visualize on those mornings that you feel at a heightened state when you get yourself in a good headspace and you're, you're up and you're not coming from this place of lack and desperation because again, you attract what you feel and if you're just picturing it and you're feeling all sorts of upset, like I need this change, ugh, like frustration, that's not gonna help you attract what you feel. So, on those mornings that you do feel super frustrated and low and just want the change, do just a normal meditation. Work on centering yourself. You can't manifest when you're operating from a place of anxiety, you just can't. And yes, you can become a master of your emotions, it takes practice. You can get yourself in this heightened state, but until you learn to do that, only focus on doing the visualizations on those heightened days. And that's how I was. That's why I was doing visualizations like every single day is because I was feeling pumped and excited and like ready and ah and good. Like these higher um, emotions, joy, excitement, all of that. And I do want to say there is such like this, this like magical woo woo, you know, God universe piece of manifestation and using visualization and all of that, but it's also about reprogramming your brain. They've done studies on visualizations and uh, training your subconscious mind. What you focus on, you're gonna get more of in your life. If you're focused on all the bad things in life, if you're constantly looking towards your past and like dreading all the things that you've ever done and regrets and all of that, then you're just gonna see and notice a lot more sad, bad, low vibe things. If you're focused on what you want for your life, if you're excited, if you're looking at the good, the things to be grateful for, you're much more likely to see all of the opportunities, connect the dots, look for the good, look for what can be done, the hope in everything. Like you're gonna notice that way more often. So if you're visualizing that and that's where your focus is on, it's gonna be much easier to see the opportunities, to have the motivation to move forward. What else? Uh... Oh, I've shared this clip in multiple videos, but why not share it here again? It is me reading a passage out of the book, The Success Principles, How to Get From Where You Are to Where You Want to Be, and it's all about visualization. So let's check that out really quick. Visualization, or the act of creating compelling and vivid pictures in your mind, may be the most underutilized success tool you possess. So this part's really interesting and is like a huge component of how visualizations work for manifesting. It says, when you perform any task, 
In real life, researchers have found your brain uses the same identical processes it would use if you were only vividly visualizing that activity. In other words, your brain sees no difference whatsoever between visualizing something and actually doing it. It also says, when you visualize your goals as already complete each and every day, it creates a conflict in your subconscious mind between what you are visualizing and what you currently have. Your subconscious mind works to resolve that conflict by turning your current reality into the new more exciting vision more than anything just put it to practice try it see how it feels be consistent on the days that you're feeling elevated in your emotions if you need to look up photos or images or house tours or anything on the internet to get a clear idea of what those things look like. Just do what feels right. There are way less rules than you think. I promise that. As I mentioned, there's a giveaway in this video. So roll the giveaway. Giveaway time. So the winner for last week's giveaway is on the screen. Congratulations. And this video, I'm giving away a copy of the book, The Success Principles, How to Get From Where You Are to Where You Want to Be by Jack Canfield. He's very much into the law of attraction. He's actually in the documentary or movie, The Secret. This is one of my all time favorite books and to win you must be a subscriber you must click the like button and then leave a comment with your name what state or country you live in and then let me know in that comment what kind of videos you would like to see for me so that I know what kinds of videos I should be making for you and that's how you enter so I hope you entered and enjoyed all things visualizations but that is all I have for today I will see you soon with a new video bye guys